Come, let us prepare and make some good profits today. Now, don't you miss all these large red candles? It's been a while. And this, the market is giving us some very important clues right here, as well as right here. And it's important I will use today's intraday's trade analysis to explain on what to be looking out for tomorrow, especially when we started chopping at this range here. It's very important you need to know this, what you need to be looking out for. Now, early in the day, 9.57, right here. Saw some controlled selling, quite a simple, straightforward trade here. So all you had to do, wait for the breakout, right shoulder of this inverse, and then show the pattern. And you have this buying continuation to guide you all the way to yellow major level right here. See the beautiful rejection. And this will be a very simple first trade that we have in the morning. Now, we start to see tapering right here, 1014. So you have to be very cautious. I will explain this tapering here when you see the change in the channels from that green to the blue and to this yellow as I have indicated in the charts right here. Now, when you see such tapering happening, you are ready to take some shorts here, right? There's room to start shorting this. And obviously we needed to wait for a micro entry. As you can see this large red candle that most of us have caught. Now, if you missed some entries here, there are several entries that you could have taken, especially one right here, 1040. You could have waited for that blue algorithm, as I mentioned. Yeah, you see that blue algorithm that started building here as we were preparing for it off this bounce of this pink 455. And all you had to do was to wait for that head and shoulder. Take a look. Beautiful. And all you had to do was to prepare for that because once the chart broke out of that channel you see the momentum of the selling start breaking out and many members caught this trade right here good work because you were all prepared for that retracement and understanding the structure right there now thereafter the chart started bouncing up because instead of forming that inverse cup we didn't form the handle chart started building up and that gave us the first clue for today which i explain later in a bit that's very important you see this control selling algorithm here so try to remember this i will explain this in a bit and thereafter you see how we built up and rejected beautifully cleanly again of this yellow four 56 right here and once we had the double top right here 1220 all you had to do was to wait for the channel break out of this green channel that i indicated right here take a look beautiful green channel here and once you saw the breakout you were ready for another inverse cup that started forming and you had to wait for that inverse handle thereafter so this would have been a good trade to take as well as we were waiting out for that inverse handle to form so did the inverse handle form well barely right here at 1253 we were prepared for that inverse handle now the inverse handle didn't form a beautiful structure here it did form an ascending wedge now this is not strong enough structure for me to personally take a trade but you could maybe with a smaller position because without clear structure take a look there is a big breakthrough because the liquidity isn't built sufficiently so i would very much prefer if we built more liquidity dug a little deeper before we had a greater push but regardless the structure was complete when we started forming the inverse cup and we had a very shallow handle that didn't break through out of this level at this 454 pink right here now remember about this clue that i mentioned earlier where the market started bouncing off at this low and we started building this intraday selling channel now we talked about it as early as 11 am right here and with reference to the 30 minute chart now remember how this looks like we already prepared for this at 11 16 and thereafter you noticed that we started forming a larger intraday selling channel and this was when at 1 p.m eastern time i mentioned that we need to be looking out for that preparation right here of this intraday selling channel forming into a macro blue flag and we were waiting out for that 
right here this pink level look how beautiful it is when the market has already built some left shoulder liquidity and therefore all you had to do was to wait for some breakout here so this could have been a good last hour trade good scope here while we waited for the market to break out now thereafter i also mentioned very importantly that as we approach power hour that bulls may not follow through as we like the runway today and you can see how the bulls have decided not to follow through because they may not have the sufficient liquidity to break out of this 456 and this will therefore be one of the clues tomorrow you need to be looking out for together with certain structures that we see so far in today here now typically most people will not have traded well here or they will find difficulty in finding profits in the chart if you cannot understand how to be looking out for structure even in this chop right so sometimes take a look this is just a two point chop throughout the day very aggressive red candles here up and down up and down up and down not so easy to trade if you have no idea what you're trying to look out for but members who did well today, you were patient, waiting out for structure to build itself, especially deeper structures. You notice that there are some structures that just requires time to start building. And if it didn't build according to your requirements, so be it if you missed it. So pay attention to the algorithms, pay attention to the structures, trade as the structure demands and let the market present itself. Now we have had some members with some amazing trades here and here because you waited out for the structure and the market rewarded you with such large rate candles for today. And this is why I love trading puts at times, right? Because the puts will always give you the fastest feedback for you to protect the trade, for you to close your trades as soon as possible. And by noontime, most of us would have already been done with our day and allowing market to just chop through from noon onwards, maybe catch one small last trade here with reduced positions just as an icing on the cake and while waiting for the market to present itself for tomorrow's clues so sometimes it's quite straightforward you don't have to be always trading trade as the structure demands as the market presents itself to you members who did well did exactly that and call it a day do not over trade here right one last trade icing on the cake that's great now well done members especially in a choppy day like this where we're not in a trend day and you have your personal best days now that's something so well done and always remember it's the red day that will define you as a trader not the massive green ones. So you have to always be looking out for the red day. Always be looking out for your risk management. Always treat with structure. We're not gambling here, remember. Must be a sustained system that you can use for the rest of your life. That's exactly what we're doing here. Right, so good job. And let's get back to the charts. Where do we go from here? Now, we are forming that intraday selling channel, as I mentioned, right? If you take a look at the one minute chart again, you notice this particular intraday selling that we are forming here, right? And we had some breakout here and we had some breakout here. I take a look still firmly in that blue algorithm here and you will see that blue algorithm right here on this 30 minute chart. So we do have intraday selling and some buying continuation that got sold off at the top of the channel no big deal and very importantly now you have to continue to look out for that buying continuation to break out from double top that we have here so we had very simply some buying continuation structure that broke out from that cup and handle that we had from yesterday i can watch yesterday's video so you have a clearer understanding of the current continuation structure that has brought us here right now and if you see from that buying continuation structure, we had today's intraday selling. And at the end of the day, we had that very simple breakout. So this is buying continuation structure. You need to see tomorrow if this buying continuation structure holds to break us out of this yellow 456, which we had a double top today where sellers were trying to ensure that we do not break out of this so this is the first clear indication if the buyers start to fail at this level you have to look out for buying continuation regardless and the next thing you have to pay attention to is 
as I mentioned, the algorithms and the 30 minute chart. Now, previously we were trading in this yellow continuation structure here, and I told you to be watching out for some tapering that could be forming. So you see, we could still be tapering here because the green algorithms have started to take control right here. Although at the end of the day, the yellow algos still started to defend the range here. So now we are chopping within the two buying algorithms here. Although we do see some tapering that's starting to form and therefore we had that double top right here. Now if the chart is tapering here, you will see horizontal channels that will start to form. You have the rejection of range here. And very importantly, as I always mentioned, you will see channels starting to break, especially the green channel, as I was mentioning. And you will see the market grabbing liquidity off all the left shoulders that it has started to build here and here, right? So you see how the market will start to grab liquidity on the left shoulders that it has previously built. And if we do taper here, the end product of the taper will be to return back to where we broke out from that 451 level where we formed that cup and handle on Thursday last week. So that's where you want to be paying attention to. Now, if this happens, we will certainly be retesting the five day moving average again. And that's where you may see that bounce for the inverse cup and handle if this happens in the first place. But first, you have to be looking out for that buying continuation structure. If we do continue this structure here, trade as the structure demands, the structure has this intraday selling. Very importantly, you have to pay attention to that. And trade as the structure demands, the structure has mentioned that the bulls may still be continuing some buying right here so you have to be first looking out for that if only we have the rejection and some tapering you have to look for confirmations and the right shoulders where it grabs the liquidity here if there is some rejection although we may be tapering so prepare ahead always be trading with structure and finding profits in the charts don't be too concerned if you are going up or down as i always mention and today if you are concerned with going up or down this is what you're going to get absolutely nothing right so you have to be looking out for profits in the charts that's the only way and the best way for you to be coming out of this market alive instead of predicting up and down and just getting chopped both ways so thank you very much for watching. I'll see you closer to opening bell.